The Albagana ambush that took place on March 31st, 1968 was carried out by the Biafran guerrilla troops led by Major Jonathan Uchendo, resulting in the decimation of the Nigerian 2nd Division. This ambush proved to be a turning point in the Nigerian Biafran Civil War as the Nigerian army suffered a crushing defeat. Out of the 5,000 Nigerian troops that were ambushed, only a small number survived, including Colonel Motala Ramat Mohammed, who was the commander of the 2nd Division. The ambush was well planned by Biafran intelligence, which had received information about the Nigerian army convoy of 105 vehicles, including troop carriers, fuel tankers, armored cars, led by Colonel Motala Ramat Muhammad. Major Uchendo, with a force of 700 soldiers, was taxed by Colonel Achuzie to carry out the ambush at Abagana along the Enugu Onicha Highway. The unsuspecting Nigerian 2nd Division marched on and fell into the trap set by the Biafrans. The Biafran army used a locally made rocket called Obunigwe to target a fuel tanker in the Nigerian convoy, causing a chain of explosions that resulted in a massive fireball. The Biafran soldiers then opened fire on the disorganized Nigerian troops, killing many soldiers who were caught off guard. Approximately 2,500 Nigerian soldiers lost their lives in the attack, and their military equipment were massively destroyed. After this encounter, Colonel Motala Ramat Muhammad was relieved of his duty and did not command a division again during the war. Major Uchendu, the commander of the Biafran army, recounted that the sight of the Nigerian convoy had initially caused panic among his troops, but he carefully planned the ambush, allowing most of the convoy to pass through before initiating the attack. The Abagana ambush is widely regarded as the most successful ambush in Africa's history and a significant victory for the Biafran forces during the Nigerian Biafran Civil War.